Preston Physics Grade 11 Energy Work and Power Note 1 Energy Transformations To talk about energy transformations we first need to know what is energy. Now energy is the ability to do work. Now when we're talking about work we're not talking about like writing We'll get into it later, but it's the ability to actually do work is what we measure with energy. Energy is always measured in joules. Now, these units are either kilogram meters squared per second squared or newton meters. There's about four or five main types of energy that we're going to talk about this year. But we're going to list nine of the types of energy that we deal with on an everyday basis. First being kinetic, which we've talked about a lot, and that's just motion, the energy associated with motion. There's elastic, which has springs in it. There's thermal, and now this is temperature, so like heat. There's gravitational. A lot of the times this is just a potential energy. So if we have something that's up high, it has a large potential gravitational energy, so dropping something. Chemicals, when we break bonds, we create energy. Nuclear, when we have atomic nuclei, so that's like when we're splitting atoms. Sound, we have vibrations. Radiant, which is light. And finally, electrical, which is electric charge. Now, when we're talking about an energy transformation, we're talking about energy changing from one thing to another. Because we're going to learn later that energy can never be destroyed. So if we're talking about an electric motor, we've got the motor written down, and then some energy is going to go in and some energy is going to come out of it. What we have going in in this case is electric. It makes sense. Electric energy is going in. And then coming out we have movement. So we have kinetic energy. But we also have some thermal energy because we're creating heat in that motor. If we look at the next example, we again, we're looking at a car here. Now what a lot of people don't know is the energy in for a car is actually gasoline, but that's a chemical reaction that we're creating. So we have chemical energy, and then again we create kinetic energy and thermal energy coming out. Try the last couple examples on your own, and we'll discuss them in class tomorrow. There is only one question from your yellow duotang for this note, and it is question one from the third unit.